Will the South City Triceratops be able to keep this massive win streak alive today? Welcome back to Season 3 of my South City Triceratops Walk-On Dynasty. Today we are in our 11th game of the season, and we get to take on the 4-7 Stanford Cardinal. Just a quick heads up for today's game, if I accidentally call them the Cardinals with an S at any point today, I do apologize. Their name kind of always throws me off. But anyway, aside from their punter, the best player on their team seems to be their running back, an 89 overall in Lester Sullivan. They also have an 84 overall defensive tackle, an 81 overall quarterback, and an 80 overall wide receiver in Marcus Booth with 95 speed. Not only are we still without running back Jack Overrocker, we are now going to be without free safety Chris Scott. He has been playing outside linebacker most of the season. I expect to see Michael Starks back in that spot for today's game, but we may see a few different players there because I still think I need Michael Starks along the defensive line. I've been meaning to do this for the last couple weeks here. We are going to make Wesley McKinney now the backup free safety. It was Curtis Burton, but I feel like Burton is way too valuable on offense. McKinney is pretty valuable as well on offense, but if he goes down with an injury, I can at least focus on running the ball. We do finally have the bowl projections for this season, and as of right now, we are projected to go to the Armed Forces Bowl and take on Tulane. It looks like Stanford had a pretty solid start of the year, starting 3-2. They probably weren't too upset with that, but then they ripped off five straight losses in a row, three of them against ranked teams, and then they finally picked up a win last week at California, 42-34, but we seem to be their last game of the season. Obviously, they cannot earn a bowl spot or anything this week at 4-7. The best they can finish is 5-7, no bowl game. So we will be playing against a team with absolutely nothing to lose today. We finally seem to not be playing in the rain. We will get the ball first, and it will go for a touchback from Wesley McKinney. The Triceratops offense will start at the 25-yard line with Ryan Hill in at running back coming off a three-touchdown performance. And on first down, we will give it to him as he spins up the middle for a six-yard run. We come back out in shotgun for the second down now. Burton will take the snap. It's a read option. He keeps himself and will juke his way to the outside. He has the blocks, will break one tackle, break another one, and finally get brought down to the 40 for a 10-yard gain and the first down. Now it looks like running back Clint Barnes is in the game for the next play. Once again from shotgun, we'll drop back to pass, we'll fire this one downfield, that one's caught by McKinney, and he is into Stanford territory, a 26-yard play. Ryan Hill now checks back into the game, so we will give it to him, and he goes up the middle, makes one man miss, and will fight his way forward for an 8-yard play to set up a second and two. Ryan Hill remains in the backfield on the next play, but Burton will drop back to pass, and we'll go to the outside, that's caught by McKinney, and he's brought down inside the 10, this one a gain of 18 but Wesley McKinney was shaken up on the play. We obviously have to hope that injury is not too serious to our leading receiver. But now first and goal from about the seven yard line. It's a handoff to Hill, who will break one tackle in the backfield, but get popped for a loss of four. That now sets up a second and goal. Burton will line up under center. Clint Barnes is the running back. We'll drop back to pass. He's gonna throw this one to the end zone and caught by Josh Bain, touchdown South City. On first and 10, Jones will drop back to pass here. He goes downfield and overthrows his man. They are listing Wesley McKinney as back spasms and said he would return soon, but he's already back in the game here at safety. Jones will drop back. He goes over the middle, caught by Fletcher, who breaks a tackle and has the first down, a gain of 13. And why is that so terrifying? I will literally see that thing in my nightmares. First and 10, Jones takes a snap, hands off to Sullivan, who breaks one tackle and now goes up the middle for a six-yard run to set up a second and four. They come out under center on the next play. Jones will hand off to Sullivan to the outside. The blocking holds up. He has the first down and is into SCU territory, a gain of 11. Now a first and 10, out in a five wide set here. From about the 42 yard line, he'll send Davis in motion. He's gonna look to run though, and he gets met and brought down immediately. That's a loss of three in the backfield. That play was made by our number one defensive back, Adrian Jordan, now a second and 13. From the 45, it's a handoff to Sullivan to go up the middle, and Jordan will get trucked on that play, but slow him down to get a seven-yard gain. Now a third and six for Stanford. Jones out of shotgun will drop back to pass. It's a screen to the outside, caught by Sullivan. We brought a blitz, and it's not going to work. A first down for Stanford, a gain of 16 on the play. First and 10, now he lines up under center. From about the 23, it's a handoff to Sanders, who bounces to the outside. He has the first down inside the 10 and is shoved out for an 18-yard gain this time. A first and goal from the four-yard line. He's back in shotgun. Jones will drop back to pass. He's staying in the pocket under pressure, breaks away from the sack, and will throw that one away. 
He lines up under center for the next play. He's going to look to run, and Jones this time will get to walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Stanford. They tie this game up at seven. The kick return sets the offense up at about the 27-yard line. Burton back in shotgun. We'll take the snap. A quick throw over the middle will be dropped by Whitfield. The first incomplete pass from him. Now a second and ten. Burton lines up in shotgun. He'll drop back to pass. We'll throw this one to the outside. Caught by Daniels for the first down. A gain of 15 for SCU. Now we come out with two running backs in the backfield. We'll take the snap and give this one to Ryan Hill, who goes to the outside, and he will fight his way through for a five-yard gain. That play would set up a second and five now. Burton is back in shotgun. Hill is the running back. We'll run the play action. Now we're going to go deep downfield, and that will be caught by McKinney, and he's brought down for a 31-yard gain. Now we line up in shotgun with Ryan Hill still in the backfield. We'll run the counter play to the outside, and Hill will attempt to spin out a defender, but we'll take the three-yard run. We now come out with our fullback, Dave Wade, in the backfield with us. For a second down, it'll be an option play. Burton will keep himself and turn that into a four-yard gain to set up a third and short. We will snap the ball one more time before the end of the first quarter. It's a read option, and Burton will keep himself for the first down truck over a player and get brought down at the five as the first quarter expires. We come out with our fullback in the backfield yet again to start the second. From the five-yard line, hand off to Ryan Hill, up the middle, and that will result in no gain. It would bring up a second and goal now. Burton is back in pistol. He'll take the snap. A quick throw to the end zone is caught by Josh Bain for his second touchdown today as we go up 14-7. The Cardinal will start their next drive at the 30-yard line with no gain from the running back. So now a second and 10. He lines up under center. He'll send his tight end in motion. Jones will drop back to pass. He's firing to the outside. That'll be caught for a short game. Third and seven. Will the defense be able to force a three and out here? He lines up in shotgun. Jones will drop back to pass. He's lobbing this one down the sideline. That one will be intercepted by Brian Edwards, and he gets brought down in Stanford territory. Now we will see if South City can capitalize off the turnover. They would begin this drive with a two-yard carry from Ryan Hill. So now it is a second and eight. Burton from under center will drop back to pass. Everyone to throw this one over the middle, but he overthrows the receiver, and luckily that was just deflected. The safety could have made a much bigger impact on that play. Now a third and eight for South City. Burton's back in shotgun. He'll drop back to pass. Rolling out to the outside. Trying to escape the pressure here. We're just going to take off with the quarterback, and he will get the first down and go out of bounds. A gain of 10 and keeps our drive alive. Now from the 32-yard line, we'll give another ball to Ryan Hill, who goes up the middle, and the blocking sets up, and Hill ends up with a nine-yard carry. Now backup running back Clint Barnes is in the game for second down. Out of shotgun, we'll give the ball to Barnes, and he will read the gap and get the first down for just a short carry of four yards. A new set of downs now from inside the red zone here. Burton lines up under center. He'll drop back to pass, and we're going to look to go downfield, not seeing anyone come open, roll out to the outside, throw on the run, and find Manny Hughes for a 13-yard gain, first and goal. Now back in shotgun at the six-yard line, and we will give this one to Ryan Hill. He goes up the middle and will get brought down for a two-yard carry. That would take us to the four-yard line. Now a read option, and Burton will keep himself, and Curtis Burton will walk into the end zone completely untouched, and we are up 21-7. They start their next drive at about the 25 here. He comes out in pistol with three minutes to play here in the first half. Jones will drop back. He's going to try to take off here. He gets to the outside and will spin forward for the first down, a gain of 12 here, and the nightmare is back. Another first down for Stanford here. He's back in shotgun. We'll take the snap. And drop back to pass. Dance around the pocket. He throws down the sideline. That's caught by Booth for the first down. A gain of 13 this time. An incomplete pass on the next play brings up a second and 10 now for Stanford. He lines up under center. We'll send his tight end in motion and line up at fullback. Hand off to Sullivan up the middle, and he'll get brought down for just a three-yard gain. With just over two minutes to play here in the first half now, it is third and seven. Stanford back in shotgun. We'll drop back to pass. He throws to the outside. Caught by Ferguson, but he won't have the first down. Fourth and one. We will see if they actually end up punting this one away or if they fake it. They are letting the play clock run down as much as possible, and it will be a real punt here that we're going to take for a touchback. Now, we kind of just have to let our offense fly here. A minute 19 with all three timeouts. We'll start with a drop back, and we're going to go down the sideline, but he overthrows McKinney. Now, a minute 14, and it's second and 10. Burton will drop back to pass. We're going to wait and throw this one over the middle, and that one will be intercepted. I got a little bit too aggressive, and Sanford will have a chance to get a touchdown before halftime now. I thought I could force a pass to Whitfield over the middle, and clearly that was not the case. Now from the 20-yard line, 
Jones will drop back to pass. It's a screen to the outside, caught by Ferguson, who gets tripped up and ends up with a seven-yard gain here. That brings up a second and three. Jones will drop back to pass again, dancing around the pocket. Now he's finally under pressure, and he's going to get hit as he's throwing to a wide-open man. Touchdown, Stanford. But luckily, Stanford scored kind of quick, so we still have 56 seconds with all three timeouts. Burton will drop back to pass. We're going to fire another one over the middle. That one's caught by McKinney for the first down. Now a first and 10, and Burton lines up under center. We'll run the play action to Hill. And now we're going to lob this one downfield for McKinney, who makes the catch inside the 10-5, and he is gone. Touchdown, South City. We make it 28-14, which is 40 seconds left in the half, with five seconds left in the half now. At the SCU 45-yard line, you got to imagine they're just going to go deep. Jones will drop back, and he's going to fire this one deep to the end zone. That one will be tipped around. That was almost caught, but luckily it falls incomplete, and we go to halftime. Yeah, if you look at this one, 82 actually had his hands on it, and I saw his name pop up for a second, but I think McKinney was the one that actually forced that one out, and then it fell incomplete. But now Stanford will get to start the second half here. They come out in pistol at the 25-yard line. Jones with the hand of the Sullivan up the middle, and he is going just for a gain of one. I thought it was going to be in the backfield. Now a second and nine, and they are out in a wildcat formation here. This should be interesting. He's going to send Sanders in motion. It'll be a keeper from Sullivan to the outside. Sullivan has some pretty good blocking, and he might be gone. Inside the 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown Stanford. Well, obviously now the Stanford defense will be looking for a stop. South City begins at the 25-yard line. In shotgun, it'll be a read option from Burton. To the outside, and Burton will get leveled, but has an 8-yard run. Now on a second and two. He's back in pistol here. Burton will take the snap. It's a counterplay to Hill, but he will be hit immediately in the backfield. Third and three. Now they come out with two running backs in the backfield. Burton is back in shotgun. He'll take the snap and look to pass. We'll throw on the run, but he overthrows Clint Barnes, and we will have to punt this one away. Following the punt, Stanford takes over at the 29-yard line. They come out in shotgun again. Jones will take the snap, hand off to Sullivan, but he is hit in the backfield by Isaiah Sims for a loss of four. Now a second and 14. Back in pistol again from about the 25-yard line this time. Jones will drop back to pass. It's going to be a throw downfield caught by Booth, and that will set up a third and two, a gain of 12 on the play. They come out in shotgun for the very next play. Jones will take the snap and look to pass downfield, and he's going to find Ferguson for the first down, brought down for a gain of 10. And the nightmare continues. A first and 10, Jones from under center now. Under pressure and getting sacked on the play by Michael Starks for a loss of five. That will set up a second and 15 now for them. He's back in shotgun again. He'll take the snap. It's a handoff to Sullivan, but he's hit in the backfield, and that's going to be Isaiah Sims getting a loss of two, third and 17. Obviously a passing situation here. From their own 40, Jones will drop back. It's a screen to the outside, caught by Sanders. There are two Triceratops in front of him. He stiff arms one and will finally be forced out of bounds for a 12-yard gain to set up a fourth and five. The South City offense gets to take the field still up by seven. From the 20-yard line, it'll be an option play. Burton to the outside, and he will turn that into a seven-yard run. That would set up a second and three for the Triceratops. Burton back in shotgun. It's a handoff to Hill up the middle, and he won't get the first down. Third and inches. Trying to avoid a second straight three and out. Back in shotgun. Burton will take the snap. Handoff to Barnes, and Barnes will get the first down, trucking through one player for a six-yard gain. Ryan Hill checks back in at running back, and that's where we go with it. Hill up the middle will turn this one into a gain of three here, second and seven. Back in shotgun on the very next play. It's going to be another run. Hand off to Hill, who cuts back to the right side and turns that into a third and one for SCU. In what could be the very final play of the third quarter. Out of a five wide set, Burton will take the snap. Roll out to the left side, try to escape the pressure, and Burton's going to get sacked for a loss of three. It will take us to the fourth quarter, but we'll punt the ball away. The punt would set Stanford up at their own nine-yard line to begin the fourth quarter here. He lines up under center. He will send his tight end in motion. Sullivan is the running back. Jones will drop back to pass, but it's a draw play to Sullivan, and he's going to get hit immediately. Only a one-yard gain. That will set up a second and nine now for Stanford. Once again, he'll send his tight end in motion. Lines up at fullback. It's a handoff to Sullivan, who tries to go up the middle, breaks one tackle from McKinney, but is hit for no gain. That sets up a third and nine from their own 10-yard line. Jones out of shotgun will drop back to pass. 
Looking to go downfield. He's going to lob this down the sideline, and that should have been intercepted by Brian Edwards for the second time today. But the defense does their job and forces a punt here. They will be punting from their own end zone. Wesley McKinney is back to return this one. He's going to get to field this near the 50. We'll get to take over in Sanford territory, barring a penalty here, and he gets brought down for a nine-yard return. The offense just needs at least field goal range. Out in a five-wide set. We'll drop back to pass. A fire over the middle, and that'll be dropped by Barnes. Incomplete. And that pass right there about sums up why Barnes now plays running back. Second and 10 with two running backs in the backfield. We'll give this one to Hill. He goes up the middle, and that'll be just a two-yard run. Third and eight. We are now out in shotgun for this play. Burton will take the snap. A third of the outside caught by Bain, and he has the first down for a gain of 15, and the Nightmare is once again back. Now at the 27-yard line with five and a half minutes to play. Out of a pistol set, he'll take the snap, and we're going to throw this one downfield. Caught by McKinney, and he will get in for his second touchdown today as we are now up 35-21. to With 5.27 left to go, down by 14. They really need a touchdown on this drive. Jones from Shotgun will start with a read option. He gets one hell of a block, has the first down, and a lot more here. Finally brought down near the 50, a gain of 23. At the SCU 49-yard line, he comes out in pistol again. Jones once again drops back to pass. He fires downfield, a one-handed grab from Davis, and he's got another first down. So far on this drive, the defense has kind of just taken the drive off. Now the SCU 35, Jones will drop back to pass. And now he's going to throw to the outside, a diving one-handed grab from Luke Fletcher. I don't know what all of a sudden got into the Stanford receivers, but I assume their quarterback would have loved that to happen all day. Second and five now. He'll throw this one to the outside, caught by Ferguson for the first down. Jones lines up under center. Sullivan is still the running back. They're letting a lot of time run off the clock here. It's going to be a draw point to Sullivan. He is hit in the backfield by Michael Starks for a loss of three. Actually, according to the stat sheet, that one's not going to go to Sarks. It's going to go to defensive tackle Jalen Shelley. But either way, now second and 13. Jones will drop back to pass. Dances around the pocket, throws to the outside, caught by Sullivan, and he will get finally brought down for a nine-yard gain. Third and four here. At the 16-yard line, he lines up under center. He'll send a man in motion. He should line up at the other slot receiver spot. Sullivan is the running back. Jones will fake it to him. Now he's looking to pass. He throws to the outside. Caught by Williamson for the first down. Brought down to the five-yard line. A gain of 11. And once again, the nightmare is here. First and goal at the five-yard line. Jones will drop back to pass here. A quick throw to the end zone. Caught by Marcus Boo. Touchdown, Stanford. This is a one-score game. And number three, UCF just barely escaped two and eight Rutgers, 26 to 21. Just a random studio update I wanted to show you guys. But for now, back to our game. First and 10 with 314 to go. It'll be a handoff to Ryan Hill and he will get hit immediately. Only a one yard play. Banford does have all three timeouts, but has not burned one yet. On second and nine, we'll take the snap. It's a counter play out to Ryan Hill. To the outside, he'll break one tackle and get brought down to bring up a third and six for South City. I apologize if you heard the Amber Alert that started going in the middle of that play off my phone, but we move on. Now third and six, and they have burned one timeout. Burton out of shotgun. It'll be a screen to the outside. Caught by Barnes. Never mind. Knocked out of his hands. We'll have to punt this one away. We are going to be counting on our defense now as Sean Smith will send this one deep. And I don't see any gunners anywhere near this guy. Sanders will make the return, bounce it to the outside, and get brought down near the 45. 2.04 to play. Will someone on defense step up and make a play? They start with a handoff to Sullivan, and Sullivan will run forward for a gain of eight yards here. A minute 45 to play in the game. We have all three timeouts. Stanford has two. Jones back in shotgun. We'll drop back to pass here. He's throwing over the middle. That's caught by Fletcher, but he gets caught up by his own lineman. Still has the first down, but only a three-yard gain. Back in pistol again. Jones will take the snap and look to pass. He's standing in the pocket. Now he's going to try to run here and cuts to the outside. Brought down for a seven-yard gain. The clock is still running. No timeout called by Stanford yet. About a minute to go in the game. Jones from under center will drop back to pass. He's going to look to run, but gets sacked on the play by Michael Starks, and they finally burn that second timeout. Now a third and seven. From the 41-yard line, Jones will drop back. It's set to be a screen here. And he throws to the outside, caught by Davis, but that's a loss of four. I think Edwards let him catch that before nailing him. Now a fourth and 12. They come out under center with 40 seconds to go in the game. One timeout remaining. Jones will drop back. 
This could be the game. He's dancing around. Now finally going to unload this one deep downfield. And that one should have been intercepted by Flanagan. But it's a turnover on downs. And we should get out of here with a win. And that is officially how the Stanford season will end and how we will jump to 9-2. We are one win away from a 10-win season after only winning, what, two games in the last couple of years, I believe? It's been an insane season, and I really never want to schedule Stanford again just because of that terrifying mascot. We obviously did not throw the ball a whole lot in the second half, but Burton ends up 11 of 18 for 236 and four touchdowns, one interception, which was a dumb throw by me. Running the ball, Ryan Hill got 47 yards on 16 carries. Burton got 46 on 10 carries and a touchdown. And then receiving Wesley McKinney, 6 for 177 in two scores, and Josh Bain, 3 for 31 in two scores. Adrian Jordan, our defensive back, is actually going to lead the team in tackles with eight today. Tackles for loss goes to Michael Starks and Isaiah Sims. And then the only two sacks we got today were both from Michael Starks. And the one interception was Brian Edwards. We should have had, if I remember correctly, three interceptions in this game, though. Quarterback Marcus Jones goes 21 for 29, 176, two touchdowns and one interception. On the ground, Lester Sullivan, 14 carries for 106 yards and a score. So it looks like he really gashed us today but he had a 74-yard touchdown run, so aside from that, he had 13 carries for like 32 yards. And then Marcus Jones, 7 for 34 in a touchdown, and receiving DJ Ferguson, their tight end, caught a touchdown, and then Marquise Booth, or Marcus Booth, whatever you want to say, 3 for 30 in a touchdown. Moving on to our final game of the regular season, it is a familiar foe in Old Dominion. We have not been able to beat them in the first two seasons of this series, but now it looks like we are a much better team. They are five and six. We move up from number 21 to number 18, but this will be the final game of the regular season in the next episode.